um, a NOAA trial, it's a, a trial of the Neuro-Oncology um, Association of the German Cancer Society. Michael Platten was the um, lead author of the trial and the lead author um, of the um, abstract presented um, at this year's ASCO. And the NOAA 16 trial had a very, very interesting approach because it is a highly personalized trial. About 80% um, of patients with a grade 2 or 3 glioma have an IDH mutation and 90% of those mutations are in a very distinct um, um, part of the DNA. So this is one um, nucleate um, um, change. So it's the R132H mutation which makes it very specific. This um, mutated um, 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 peptide is presented on the HLA um, of the tumor cells. So the tumor cells are actually acting as antigen presenting cells. The patient's own immune system detects the, um, the mutated antigen in about 16% of patients. And this made us believe that it could be attractive to enhance this pre-existing immune response against this um, mutated antigen um, by a peptide um, 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 vaccine. Very important to understand is that this um, um, mutation is only taking place in the um, tumor cells. There's no other cell in any body that um, has a mutation. So it's a very specific only tumor cell directed vaccine or 100% of tumor cells are carrying the mutation. So in principle, it's a master mutation that should allow us with one vaccine, one approach to overcome this um, sneaking out of tumor cells um, out of the um, um, because of heterogeneity. So the trial would um, integrate this vaccination into the first line treatment of patients with a grade three or four IDHR132H mutated glioma, so astrocytoma or glioblastoma, and it would look basically for safety. We we'll look for immunogenicity in the blood, but also in the tumor if possible. And of course, we sneaked a little on the outcome of, of patients. The trial, and this is also, also true for most of the vaccine trials, is pretty safe. You have some issues with local vaccine reactions, which are mainly due to the um, um, immune enhancing um, compound. So this is what is causing some kind of irritation, even little abscesses and so. So this is not so nice, but only locally in the skin. In general, body-wise, there's no remarkable adverse events. The immune efficacy was high. More than 90% of patients after vaccination had a um, IDH or 132H specific immune response in their blood. The tumor patient that we um, operated on, because we had some patient that we operated, also showed specific influx of, um, of um, 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 T cells, of memory T cells. Whether they are specific for the antigen, yes or no, is not um, detected yet because there is no tetramere yet because we don't know the receptor for the antigen um, as of now. The outcome for patients is good, but this is what you would expect. This IDH mutated patient group is a pretty good prognostic um, um, group of patients with brain tumors. So um, therefore, um, all patients in the trial are still pretty well, are still going on, are mainly free of progression, or if they have progressed, they are still alive and undergoing a secondary treatment. So it's really too early to say how the efficacy is. Our impression from some individual treatments we did outside trials for a more severely affected patients at a later stage of disease is that we can in fact induce some objective responses also with the approach and the next step is now of course to get a little closer insight into the um, tumor situation so we wanted to understand whether they are really immune specific um, um, tumor infiltrating lymphocytes um, in the in the tumor tissues therefore the next trial is a NOAA 22 trial the Amplify Neovac trial is um, using the same vaccine is adding a velumab as a checkpoint inhibitor to the treatment and is trying to really dissect the immune response in checkpoint inhibitor patients, combined treated patients and patients just treated with a vaccine with the um, really hopefully with the outcome that we understand how much brings a checkpoint inhibition in a vaccine study in brain tumors.